Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I am freaking out right now. I've amassed everyone because I, I, what I found this morning, I just don't even understand. I'm blown away by this. And you guys are gonna, come follow me. Come on, come on. I can't wait to show you guys this. Oh, let me grab some keys real quick. All right, everyone, do you guys have any guesses? Not a clue. No clue? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is crazy, guys. Is it the black thing? No. Dun, 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 dun. You better start filming. I am, I am. What do we have back here? Eggs. What do we have back there, Tiana? Tiana, come on, girl. I think she's probably gonna be mad. Can I grab a stool? Can you grab me a stool real quick? No way, dude. Cool. <laughs> now, just, so, no, this is the thing. She has not been paired with a male, so there's definitely an infertile egg over here, but I see a couple eggs that look really white. Could it be parthenogenic? I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> so I'm, Lord, you gotta get me a stool. <laughs> All right, so first things first, I think she's gonna try to protect these eggs. So I'm gonna do the best I can do to get her out of here without her getting upset at me. And then I'm gonna see what she's got going on. I'm sorry, big girl. I thought she looked a little thin recently. And uh, yeah, I think they are slugs, unfortunately. I didn't know if maybe the fact, I mean, look at that egg almost looks like that might be okay. I'm not sure. I'm gonna candle these guys. Cause again, you know, she's never been in with a male. So she's not gonna lay fertile eggs unless it's parthenogenesis, which could be possible. So I'm just kind of going back here. There's another egg here there's another egg here it looks like four eggs two are definitely slugs two have potential I'm not sure I'm just gonna see if there's any other eggs back here but how crazy is that isn't that wild I know right I so again I don't know if this is gonna be good or not it's possible I'll candle them and see regardless it was just a wild thing I had to share with you guys <laughs> because I didn't expect I thought she looked really fat before yeah, she you did look really chunky yeah but I thought that maybe she was just eating a lot I noticed over the last couple days she looked a little bit thin and we I was like oh. talking about that yesterday. yeah we we're talking about yeah, it yeah, yesterday we How... saying, like, well, I wonder if she like got more comfortable so she's not yeah up much yeah I was like man she needs to get some more food and then uh, then today I come in and I see these little white things. I'm like, oh. So hey, there it is, crazy. I'm gonna candle these, and uh, hopefully there was parthenogenesis, and she laid for her legs. If not, it was still an awesome thing, and now we gotta find a male. I'm in the birthday party room because I can turn the lights out here and we can candle them. Again, I mean, I'm not very hopeful that there's fertile eggs here, but I still, it was exhilarating. You know, it was exhilarating to think about it. So I'm gonna turn the lights out, we'll go ahead and candle these and see if there's anything inside. All right, let's just go ahead and look. Yeah, I don't see any network of veins. I don't see anything. That would tell me, no, these are slugs. At least that one's a slug. And I'm sure this one's a slug too. That's all right though. It was still awesome. So all in all, uh, didn't get fertile eggs, but it was still exhilarating, wasn't it? I mean, just to think like, wow. And now we know that she's a producer, so we can find a male and pair him up with her. And uh, that would be amazing to produce some little baby Lewis Eye hybrids. Oh my gosh, that was cool. So, hey, uh, I hope the start of your day is amazing. Uh, it was a great start of my day. I hope you enjoy it. Let's push our problems aside and let's have a great day together. Checking for eggs today with the ball pythons and look at this beautiful chocolate pinstripe, but look at that ovulation right there. For anyone that's interested, see how it looks like she can't even bend, it's like she's a banana? That's that big ovulation. I mean, wow, that girl is gonna explode pretty soon. But actually in the next day or two, she'll actually go down a little bit and then build towards the actual lay, which is 50 days from ovulation, approximately. Speaking of laying, I wanna check that girl that I'm super excited about. Of course, this is that pastel female. It's right to that pastel lesser bee bongo animal. So unfortunately she didn't lay yet today. She should be laying any day. That is gonna be a banger of a clutch. So let's just look through the rest and see if there's any other eggs. Still no eggs, but look at this, another huge ovulation. This is actually an albino cine head pie bred to an albino pie. So, whoo doggy, I tell you what, but that, that's a classic case of a monster ovulation. Well, no ball python eggs today, but it was still cool to see some big ovulations and I'm still on watch for that one female. Uh, there's so many I'm excited about, but that girl's gonna lay any day.
Guess what, guys? My girl Ivy shed out perfectly. Unfortunately, this time I didn't actually catch her in the act of shedding, so I don't know if she was shedding in the water or not. I didn't catch it, but I do see that she did the same thing where she climbed out onto land to actually climb out of her shed. And you can kind of see what's going on in here right now. This is a, a beautiful, perfect shed all the way over here. I'm gonna to try to get it out without ripping it at all. Cause again, she has just been shedding beautifully. I mean, take a look at that shed. And uh, she's looking great in the water. Like always, she shed out on land then climbed right back into the water. Let's take this out and take a closer look at it. And again, I mean, what a perfect shed right here. Wow, I guess staying in the water all the time keeps it pretty easy and moisturized for sure. But again, another beautiful shed. As a matter of fact, I almost wonder, let's go ahead and get the last shed and do the same thing where we kind of line them up and see if there's a difference. The last shed was actually like six inches larger than the shed before. I wonder if this one would be too. So again, this is far from scientific. This is the last shed, this is this shed. And you can see again, it's wrinkled, there's all kinds of stuff, but certainly this shed appears to be a good four, five, six inches longer. Again not scientific because obviously there's so many factors involved in that but uh definitely we know that snakes shed when they grow and we know ivy's been growing and she's got another beautiful shed pretty exciting and event filled day i would say for sure we got a package from our friends over at underground reptiles and i'm excited to show you what it is we actually have tomorrow another package coming from them that is really exciting as well so let's just go ahead and open this up see what's going on of course it got the little thanks b which is really nice got a little personalized message on the bag too which is nice so that is awesome let's go ahead and open this up and i'll explain why we got this animal once i actually get this open And I'm over the top excited about it because I love these guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's cute too. Let's see, let's get this thing out. Oh, it's a little bit dirty. It pooped in the bag a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go ahead, get this out, and I'll explain what the deal with this animal is. And of course we have, oh, this is an interesting one. Wow, so of course we have a female caiman lizards, right? So the fact that we got two caiman lizards before, but they were both male, so uh, they were gonna fight and stuff like that, so we wanted to make sure we had a male and a female. We obviously have Mango, the one that lost his tail, so I wanted to get another female, but I also wanted to get one that had a perfect tail, right? And it's interesting, because this one doesn't have the orange head. It's got the green head on it, which I find really unusual. I wasn't expecting that. And what's interesting is it's not much bigger than Mango, maybe just slightly bigger, but it seems like it has such a long tail, even before before Mango's tail fell off. So regardless, we wanted to get a pair of them and work with them. So my friends down in Underground had this amazing animal, sent it down to us. So we'll go ahead and put this in with Mango, get these guys kind of socialized and habituated to one another. But uh, I'm excited, man. Another caiman lizard. And again, now we have one with a good tail, but Mango's tail is gonna grow back. It won't look just quite the same, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and put this one in with Mango. And you can see Mango over here just chilling out on this side. So I'm gonna put this one all the way on this side, just so they can get used to one another. I don't want to put them right together. But the fact that they're male and female and relatively the same size, I think they'll be completely fine. This is a little chunk or two. She looks amazing. So Mango's over there just chilling out saying, hey, what's up? So we'll see how it goes. So there it is. Now I finally have a pair of caiman lizards. Like I mentioned before, these guys will stay in this habitat for maybe, you know, maybe a year or so. So right about the time we need to move salt and pepper up into a larger enclosure, I think these guys can go in salt and pepper's enclosure, which I think will be amazing. But uh, I'm so happy now that we have a female and it has a full tail. Got a couple Kluber clutches today. This is actually a black motley corn snake. I absolutely love black motleys. Out of the motleys, I would say black motleys and ghost motleys are my favorite and that's why because that is just one ripper of a snake right there. Take a look at that. Oh my gosh and what a beautiful clutch of eggs too. Come on mom, you did so amazing. That's like the perfect clutch right there. Perfect size clutch, perfect size eggs. I'm going to go ahead just kind of remove these eggs really quick quick just so that she's not rolling them all around then we'll get this girl back in come on mama I know come on mom we'll get you back in here get her cleaned up get her some water and actually the male she was bred to was right here really beautiful actually ghost corn snake which is a hypo and an aneurythristic so really pretty snake so the whole clutch should certainly be aneurythristic there could be some motleys there could be some ghosts depending on the heterozygous in there so I'm just going to snuzzle these eggs down here I'll probably candle this egg really quick just to make sure the embryos there and we've got let's see 
two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 perfectly good eggs. Uh, that's a good way to start the Colubrid egg day. Lori came to me and asked me what I ordered from Kohl's. Uh, of course, I didn't order anything from Kohl's, so I'm not sure if Kohl's sent us something or someone else sent us something. You want <laughs> to open sure it up? Pretty sure Kohl's didn't. <laughs> you never know, you know? Or maybe it's something completely different. Maybe it's just a Kohl's box. Uh, I have no idea. No, it says shipped direct from Kohl's. From Kohl's, so let's see what it is. I hope it's something fun. Did you order something for I me? didn't order. Yeah, I did. No. This is this was a gift for you. I bought this for you. What is it? I don't know yet. It's a it's a mug. Oh boy. I didn't order this. I like it already. <laughs> oh my Jeez. god. A soonish. That is amazing. <laughs> That's cool. Is there a note? I don't know if there's a note. I don't know who no. sent this, but uh thank you for this absolutely amazing uh sloth mug. I I can drink my tea oh in this. This goodness. is absolutely That's incredible. Ridiculous. So <laughs> always surprising me. More there's never enough sloth stuff in my life. So thank you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Super excited. Jessica, what do we have again? Some Deadpool eggs. Oh my god, Deadpool. Let's go ahead and take a look. We had Deadpool. Oh gosh. So her name was originally Vanessa, but I've just Vanessa. been calling her Lady Deadpool now. Lady Deadpool, yeah. that is one incredible animal right there. And of course, we have the ones that were laid, what, about a month and a half ago or something like that? Yeah, they're still so looking good. Oh, so, oh, 327. So, okay, so yeah. We got a couple months left. Okay, oh gosh, I can't wait. I time. can't wait. Well, let's see. Uh, hopefully, she has some other good eggs. Yeah. So let's go ahead and take a quick look and see if she's got two more eggs. I cannot get over how gorgeous this is. Of course, this is from Tiki's Geckos, our good friends down there. Uh, amazing, amazing geckos they have they have a bunch of I'm cool sure lizards to be totally honest with you but let's go ahead and see if we've got some where are they at maybe this side maybe this side she had both sides kind of dug up there they are oh there they are that one looks good that one looks good one good egg and yep. they both look good yep they oh my gosh nice that white. is so incredible so again guys we're not too far away from hatching some deadpool animals and then we've got a couple more eggs and this is the gecko that i was the most excited about through all our geckos this year so that is super good so great job jessica way to go and then the other clutch that we had today is actually a Mexican black king snake. It looks like mama's already out of the box, so I know that she's completely done. And look at how beautiful it is. She's not a big girl at all. This is definitely a smaller Mexican black king snake, but still absolutely gorgeous. You guys know that I love the Mexican black king snakes. Let's see what she has. Oh my gosh, those are nice, beautiful eggs. I mean, for that small of a girl, that's a lot of eggs and long eggs too. You know, that's the thing that's sometimes funny is I think like, how does that clutch of eggs fit into that feature? email right there. I mean, I have no idea. Let's go ahead and see how many eggs she has. It looks like there's five of them here. Just two right there and these two right here. I'll probably candle these just to make sure because they're a little bit loose, but uh, nevertheless good. Should take about 60 days for these guys to hatch. So uh, that wraps up Colubrid eggs for the day. Well, that was a pretty eventful day. There's no doubt about it. I mean, uh, wow, what a day. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, you could do me a favor. Uh, check out this playlist right here. I think that you'll enjoy that. If you want, you can also listen to my podcast right up here, checking in. On this side, you can subscribe to this channel. Please show all those things love if you don't mind. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.